Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Spider-J 420's Marvel Legends collection. Uh, we're at actually, where are we? We're at update number four. Can you believe it already? Man, how time flies. <laughs> anyway, update number four. Um, I actually got a new Samsung Galaxy S4 phone, so I am checking out the audio and video capabilities. And I thought, what better way to show it off than with a new update? Um, I did get some new figures. We're going to go right to the villains because that's where we always go. Um, I did pick up a uh, Sinister Six box set Electro, which is a figure. It's weird. It's a figure that I've been wanting for a long time, but it's a figure that I've had for a long time. I got him up in the box, uh, but I didn't want to open it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get a loose one on eBay. Picked him up. Um, so now my Sinister Six is complete. And when I say my Sinister Six, uh, when I started reading Amazing Spider-Man, uh, the first issue that I started reading was 334, I want to say. But it was, uh, you know, uh, featuring the Sinister Six with Electro, Sandman, Doc Ock, the Vulture, Hobgoblin, and Mysterio. So I have completed my Sinister Six. So I'm jazzed about that. I do like this Electro. It is the old Toy Biz body, of course, because it's, you know, old. Uh, so he's kind of small and a little on the, you know, scrawny side, but that's how I like my Electro, small and scrawny, because he's a little twerp, but uh, he's awesome. Nice addition to the collection. Uh, what else? I did also pick up a second uh, Iron Man Legend Ultron figure, so now I have two of them, and I use them as the drones for the Marvel Select Ultron Prime. So, uh, you know, there's been people talking like, oh, you know, the select figure is too big and I don't like the way that he looks, but he's awesome. Uh, and the two uh, Ultrons are definitely smaller. They're kind of hunched over, so the height's not exact, but uh, sweet. Really happy with that. Um, you'll notice this big blue dude, Ironmonger, finally came, um, which was a complete surprise to me. I got him on eBay, uh, shipped all the way from China for 28 bucks. Um, which might not seem all that great, but he's a build a figure, which means that uh, you got to put them together. You got to buy other figures, like you got to buy the Iron Patriot, and he comes with Iron Monger's torso, and then you buy an Ultron, and he comes with his head. So you got to buy six figures to put them all together, and at fifteen bucks each, what is that? Like ninety bucks, uh, and I got them for twenty eight. So can you say deal? I think that you could. So happy with that. Like I said, I didn't think he was going to show. I thought for sure I was going to get scammed. But uh, boom, sitting in my mailbox waiting for me, Ironmonger. So happy with that. Um, I also had to get a piece of uh, Arnim Zola, which you sort of can't really see. He's back there in orange with the uh, red skull on his belly. But uh, sweet figure. I had all the pieces. Like I said, I just had to get one leg, and I had to tear open my Bucky cap for the other leg. But I finally assembled him, another uh, uh, Avengers villain. So, you know, I'm really happy with that. That's always cool. What else? Uh, that's it for the villains. I did leave some space for uh, Pile Driver and, uh, not Pile Driver, the Wrecker and Bulldozer. So when they finally show up, I will have all four of the Wrecking Crew. Uh, that can't come soon enough, dude. I'm dying for those figures. So, yeah, so that's uh, for my villains. Um, and I'll finally do an update on the good guys. Not a whole lot is going on. I know you guys have seen this a bunch of times, but here's all my good guys. The one addition that I have is uh, the Falcon up here in red. Um, I, 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 I gotta be honest, I'm not a huge Falcon fan, but he's a sweet looking figure. Got him cheap on eBay and uh, he is an Avenger, so I'm always up for adding new Avengers to my display. So, and he totally fills this hole up in the upper right hand corner. So. Ha really happy with that. That's awesome. Uh, I got that going on. Uh, what else? Actually, this might be a quick one because I think that's about it. Uh, I did uh, open up. I had the uh, the the new uh, from the Amazing Spider-Man movie, the uh, Quick Change or Maskless Peter Parker, which I got to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this movie costume, but uh, the Peter Parker likeness is pretty sweet. Uh, looks you know just like Andrew Garfield and. He always makes a good Peter Parker, so I'm happy with that. He's got his backpack and his skateboard. You swap heads, make him a Spider-Man or Peter Parker. It's pretty sweet. So there's that. Uh, here's my, you know, Spider-Man tower, as always. Good stuff there. 
I'm always happy with this. I love looking at this, man. Cool Spider-Man stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, we're going to check and see uh, what this looks like. Hopefully it's cool. I mean, it already looks leaps and bounds better than the old phone that I used to have. So, uh, things are good, man. Um, this is where we're at right now. Again, we're at update number four. And uh, as always, hit me up with comments and questions and suggestions. And we'll go from there. Hope you enjoyed today's selection. Um, and until next time, Spider J 420. Peace. Yeah.